Hey everybody, Sarah here. So one day I promise I am going to get to the next book review, uh, but I'm having surgery this week and I need something that's a little bit like easier going for me than something that's going to be a little bit more scripted. So I'm going to be showing you some of the clutches that have been hatching, uh, the next one in line in fact. Before I jump into that though, I just want to give a huge thank you to all of the members of this channel. I will list you guys right over here. I will eventually also get back to listing you guys by name, uh, but once again, this has been a very stressful thing going on in my life and um, I just haven't <laughs> had the time and ability to do everything that I want to do, but I do want to let you guys know that I greatly, greatly appreciate uh, you financially contributing to the channel. Uh, this channel would not be possible without that, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, if anybody else would like to become a member, it's $2 a month and you get exclusive content as well as get your name uh, both visually over here and uh, as soon as I actually am able to have the list in front of me again I will verbally thank you as well. I also want to mention that I do have some baby snakes coming available very soon. Uh, there's a couple available now and then there's going to just be more and more coming uh, as the season goes on so you can check out my website sarahsnakeshop.com that's in the description for available snakes and snake accessories so I also have t-shirts and notepads and masks and a bunch of other stuff so if you would check that out that would also be really awesome. And of course I also want to mention that I have two corn snake morph books so if you like the morph deep dives you're also probably really going to like the morph books that I have there are two of them one of them is about the base mutations so amel motley diffuse stuff like that and the other is on the selectively bred types so like localities such as Miami and Okatee as well as uh, more selectively bred things like pinstripe motley instead of just regular motley and cube stripe instead of regular stripe so if you are interested in that kind of stuff uh, you can check out either or both of those those books as well. And as a sort of thank you and I'm sorry, I will give you guys a 10% off code that will be good until the next video comes out next week. I will put that code right here whenever I decide what that's going to be. Uh, just type that in when you check out and you'll get 10% off of anything on my website. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in. It's Tuesday, June 16th, and we are also on baby watch for two more clutches. Right now, the snows are currently uh, all coming out of their eggs, so if you watch that video, uh, that is also what's happening right now, is uh, there's like three or four more left in their eggs that still need to come out. But they have two clutches that were both laid on the 17th of April that are due pretty much any day. It's the 16th, so it's been almost exactly 30 days now. Uh, or I'm sorry, 60 days now. And uh, so we are waiting on these two. This is uh, Impanada's clutch with ingot. Uh, this was mother to son. These are the possible het golden eggs. Um, you can see this one down here. Kind of got this weird, almost bad spot looking to it. Um, it's not bad. This uh, sort of darker color is uh, kind of where you can see through the egg. The shell is just a little thin there. And where the shell is thin there, it's just extra thick down here. It's almost like the calcium kind of got moved down to this end and uh, kind of smudged a little bit. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of a weird uh, phenomenon, but it does happen. And the egg is obviously fine. It's been fine since it was laid. Um, so yeah, we're waiting on these. I did candle them. None of them stick out to be uh, amelanistic, which is what I was expecting. There's no amelanistic in the line that I'm aware of. It is Friday, June 17th, and the possible het goldens are starting to pip. I see one that's uh, poking its head out of the egg. It looks like just a normal. Kind of came out sideways. Hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> Hello, little one. I can't tell what it is yet. Probably just a normal, but it's hard to tell. Maybe a caramel. Don't know. But it's just a matter of time for the rest of them to cut now, so... Uh, we'll check in the morning because it's almost midnight tonight and uh, maybe more will be pipped by morning. And it appears we've hatched a little bit of a firecracker. This thing has been striking at me. Hello. Little tiny babies sticking their noses out. This is the um, possible het golden clutch. I don't know what the morphs are of most of these babies yet. And I'm not going to bother them to find out. We'll find out when they come out. Um, these two eggs over here are empty. Babies already came out of those. Um, and one of them is a normal. And I think one of them might be a caramel. I'm not sure. But yeah. So just thought I'd show you all the little, little noses poking out. Let's see. It's not really a good angle. But anyway. There they are. 
the uh, second baby from the Possible Head Golden Clutch is out. This one also looks like a caramel. Um, the other one, you know, I hate to, I hesitate to say that any of them are goldens because I don't a hundred percent know. This one is definitely more caramel looking though than what I have seen like baby goldens look like. Uh, baby goldens don't seem to be quite as like yellow as this guy or maybe even the other one. Um, I haven't sexed this one. I keep saying guy. I don't really know, but I love this like head pattern or lack thereof on this one. Um, his dad had a little bit of that, but it wasn't near as, I don't know, like this. And I think that's really cool looking. I don't really, a lot, this line has a lot of that. Every time that I produce babies in that line, there's always a few that have this weird, like, blank spot on the head pattern, like, right behind the nose bridge. I just think it's really, really cool. Anyway, um, there's none other out right now. There's others breathing, but none of them have come all the way out. So we're just waiting now. All right, we're back with the possible head golden clutch. It looks like everybody's breathing. Uh, we have one baby that's out. It looks like a normal. Uh, hey, cutie pie. Um, I can't really tell by colors yet what we may or may not have in this clutch. Um, really, with this line, they all kind of need to get out of the egg before we know for sure. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this baby a uh, another enclosure. Very sweet baby. Very cute. All right, we're back later that day and we have a pile. And this little baby right here is looking potentially promising for possible golden. I don't know, I'll have to get them all out and look at them all. Uh, not everybody's out. We have two or three left in the egg, but nice little pile. Uh, I'm gonna get these guys in separate enclosures and have a closer look at them. All right, I went ahead and removed the eggs of all of the uh, babies that are out, so all of the empty eggshells, and we have six babies left to hatch. Um, I don't know if I miscounted or what, but I thought that there were 12 babies. I thought there were 12 eggs, but I have seven babies in containers right now, and six babies still in eggs. Um, so maybe one of them was a twin or something? I uh, do not know. I will have to recount things because I'm confused. Okay, so my conclusion is that we definitely have had twins. I don't know which ones are twins. I don't know. This is really very strange, um, but there's still six more eggs that definitely have babies in them. And I definitely wrote down that there were only 12 eggs. And I... There was either more eggs, I guess I could count the other shells. No, there's only six shells in the trash and I just threw them away. So we had twins. This is definitely a first for me. Everybody, future Sarah here in editing. I'm sorry, this is my, my laptop camera. Um, I apparently lost or deleted some footage for the end of this clutch. So uh, I wanna go through and let you know like what the final count was for everything. So we had two that are definitely caramels. Uh, we had two that are, or no, three that are like possibly goldens and they will be held back, of course. I'm also going to hold back the caramels uh, just to like compare them as they grow up. And then all the rest ended up being normals. Um, I don't remember how many females there were to males. I think there's a, it was a pretty split down the middle males, females with this clutch, uh, which is what I typically hope for. I, I don't like having ones that are super male heavy or even super female heavy. It's nice to have that mix. So um, if you want to see those updates, check out my Facebook page. That is Sarah Snake Shop on Facebook. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, I will promise I'm getting the next book review to you soon. I have a book mostly read. I just haven't had the chance to sit down and actually like go through a script and record a video. So when I get the opportunity to do that, I will definitely do that. I hope to have it done by next week. And I'm sorry if I'm unable to be at the premiere of this video. Normally I'm able to be at the premiere for you guys. Uh, but because of my surgery this week, I'm not really sure how that's going to go. I will try. Um, um, and so if you see me in the chat, say hi. And if not, I will see you guys in the chat next week for the next video. Thank you so much for watching.